Oh, hi guys, this is Gargush9 here with Let's Play Infamous. In the last episode, we found the Ray Sphere, and we blew it sky high, along with John, unfortunately. And in this episode, we got one final mission left to go, the truth. So let me see if I can buy anything real quick. Uh, I could get melee. Let's go ahead and get it, I guess. Not that it's going to be of any use to us, but, uh, might as well, just for completion's sake. But anyways, this is going to be located literally the exact spot where we started the game. Which is kind of a nice little cyclical kind of thing. But it's going to be right over here so I don't have to cut out anything. And a nice, convenient. But yeah, say hello to our final battle area. Nice, sprawling little spot, I guess. I don't know. Yes, it is. I was so worried that you weren't going to live through the blast. But you were fine. More than fine, actually. I remember your voice now. You were there after the bomb went off. I've always been there, Cole. Every step of your life. And so begins the final battle with Kessler. And you can see a difference between the final, uh, the, this boss and the other two bosses beyond his blinding speed, is the fact that he has a health bar, so we can actually measure how far we are from winning the game. So he's got a few attacks, not going anywhere. and what I just triggered is if you get too far away from the uh, center of the spot, he'll actually pull you back in, so it's not something you want to do, but all you really have to do is just keep blasting him. Anyways, this guy's being a bit of a jerk. I think I fly over this. Yeah, I do. Huh. But yeah, he's got a few attacks. This is probably an easy one to avoid. All you have to do is just keep moving. And if you avoid all of it, he becomes stunned. So just feel free to weigh in on him a little bit. Alright. Where'd he go? Oh. Okay, we were he was on a bit of a hill that time, so he couldn't hurt us with his shockwave. Oh shoot. Got a little too far. You're not worming your way out this time, Kessler. Not I don't think I'm supposed to win this one. Weak, a failure. All of this has been for nothing. Hey, it's Zeke. Well, now he can't mess with our fat man. <laughs> exactly, Cole. Alright, let's, let's get away from this grenade thing this time. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I've learned your little shockwave move. Alright, gotta make sure I avoid these. Oh, he only did three that time. Alright. See, so, yeah, I think you have to take care of those uh, clones before they get to you, otherwise they'll do crazy amounts of damage. I don't know, I've never been hit by one, so I wouldn't really know. Here, let's hammer him. Yeah, that caused a bit of damage. Mm. Alright, avoid the shockwave and then kill his clones. Alright, again. Mm. I'm getting good at dodging that. Alright, way into him with hammers. <coughs> that the best you can do. Oh, and now he summons whirly burns. That's just <laughs> that's just grand. Uh as, as if this battle wasn't Man, bad enough as it is. Trish in his wallet, telling people she was the daughter he never had. Did you 
you know that? He couldn't wait for you to marry her. Rotten son of a bitch. Alright, let's try and take care of this last one. There we go. All of them are dead, so we, we can focus on Kessler now. <coughs> Damn, that does quite a bit of damage. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't gonna dodge that one. Yep. Uh, I don't really have the energy to do hammers. Oh shoot. Yeah, I should have been moving there. Oh, I don't know how that one hit me though. Nah, shoot, and he summoned more of them now. At least I'm fr fairly accurate to destroy these things, so that's good news. Uh, he's pretty much dead. Bastard. And there we go. And that, guys, is game. I looked down at Kessler, reveling in my victory. And then I heard him whisper, Trish, I love you. Please forgive me. Then he was on me, fingers digging into my face. As Kessler's secrets played out in my head, I finally began to understand. I saw his nemesis. A beast intent on extinguishing all life. In those early days, Kessler could have used his powers to stop it. But instead, he fled with his family, leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late. Too late to fight. Too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power went on a one-way trip back in time, attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the race sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine, finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day, when he married Trish, with Zeke as his best man. My brain lurched, unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person. That he'd come back in time to mold me into the savior he failed to be. Going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. No, Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions. All for the common good. And then Kessler fell back, dead. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself, my future self, and turn away. The rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler. But when the time comes, I will be ready. And like I said, that's game. <laughs> Quite the twist at the end, but... It all makes sense when you think about it. I guess. <laughs> anyways, so that was Infamous, guys. The first ever PlayStation Let's Play that I've ever done. And of course, we're not completely finished. I don't... I, well, I don't know if we're finished or not. 
depends upon because I mean we still have the little square of um, the historic district that we have to you know rescue I suppose I'll have to see what happens afterwards there might be an extra video in the coming future I don't know it all depends but yeah that was the good playthrough of uh, Infamous I suppose I'm not planning on doing an evil one because that would essentially be playing the same game over again. And the only difference that I could really show is how certain key cutscenes play out differently. And like I said, the evil the evil playthrough of this game, if you decide to do that, prepare to be depressed. Because, like I said before, the game does a lot of shaming in the evil playthrough of the game. And I mean a lot of shaming. <laughs> It's kind of unfortunate, but, uh, wow, this song is actually kind of loud. Yeah, I can turn it down, but I don't know if I can turn it down when I'm editing this video. But, um, I mean, a few key differences. Um, the train scene when you first rescue people is one. Or instead of, like, they're cheering you, you have to beat up some of them in order to actually clear them off. Uh, Trish's death scene plays out differently, where it's really kind of a jerk move what Kessler does when the evil side, because no matter what, Trish dies in that particular thing. But yeah, magically, Trish is one of the uh, six doctors that dies in the um, evil side. Like, the person that you save isn't Trish, so no matter what, the game screws you over. Which, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling, but I mean, we just defeated the game, so... That's kind of like the ultimate spoilers right there. So, I mean, if you're, you've gone this far... <coughs> yeah, there you go. Um, what else plays differently? Well, I mean, I, I won't spoil everything, but... Yeah. But yeah, and that was normal mode, too. I mean, kind of imagine how this game is on hard difficulty. A lot of cheap deaths... And a lot of frustration. <laughs> I'm hoping that on hard mode, some of the things like chasing after the helicopters doesn't become suddenly harder too, because that would be pretty jerkish. But, um... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It was a bit difficult trying to chug through this game sometimes, though, just because it's just how things have been with me lately. Things have been pretty difficult, so... It's unfortunate that this game kind of gets a little bit marred, as far as my memory is concerned. Because I really do like this game. It does have a lot of good strong points about its story. And, um... Well, I mean, it definitely beat Prototype out of the water when it came to that, I suppose. <laughs> because that was Infinite's primary competition when it first came out, because... It and Prototype came out at pretty much the same time. So... There's a lot of competition between the two. And the credits are over, it looks like. But, um... Yeah. I thought this would be the end. That once Kessler and the race sphere were gone, my life would go back to normal. But now I understand that this is my life. That there's no going back. That the gift of these powers will be my burden until the day I die. The people around here love me. How long will that last? What's going to happen the first time they expect me to be there for them and I'm not? I don't even know who to trust. Moya is still running around, planning God knows what. And Zeke, I don't know what to think. I've never been more alone. Well, I was like Zeke kind of redeemed himself because he did try to save us at the end. But he still did a jerkish move, so... Who knows? Maybe it isn't that. You finally get mission complete. Congratulations, you have beaten Infamous. Feel free to roam in our city, collect blast shards, complete any outstanding circumstances, and blah blah blah. Yeah, trophies to be earned at harder difficulty inside things to get at the opposite karma. And mission complete. So yeah. Oh, uh, it looks like we have one district left, and it's gonna be a hidden package, isn't it? Uh I didn't realize that. Completing the truth actually got us control of a certain area here. I think it's over here. 
All right, let's see if we can quickly do this because if I can do this, then I can just wrap this uh, project up in this video, and there would be no need for an extra video. Let's see, oh, that guy's next to me. Yep, there it is. Right, let's go ahead and start it. Oh, hey, guy. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Well, first off, we're going to take care of this guy. And take care of his friends. Yeah, something about the plot points. Alright, I'd have to go up. Something that they don't really resolve, though, is the whole Moya thing. Like, what really happens with her and the whole Empire City thing? Like, does it get leveled to the ground or something? I don't really know. Uh, how do I go up? Oh, this pipe. That's one thing that does bug me up about the ending. Because you don't really know what happens. Like, with the military and stuff like that. Uh... Uh, I guess I gotta go one more floor. Or right, yeah, there's a pole right there. So I gotta go at one more floor. Let's see here. There it is. Alright, and with that, that should be 100% with the Historic District. Yep. So with that, we've officially covered all districts of the entire game. Every last part of Empire City is now under our control. Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, can I buy anything? I don't think so. No, I can't. Aw, that sucks. Oh well, so with that, that's gonna call it a video and that's gonna call it a project too so let's go ahead and go back to the um where it all began and call it a project so this is guy christian nine guys this has been let's play infamous i hope you enjoyed this project i know i did to a degree and well i'll see you guys later in the next project whatever that may be maybe fable maybe not i don't know i'll see you guys then